guys, Marco's Retro Tech. So, this is my Windows 95 computer. The Simmons Nixdorf from 1997. And recently it needed a bit of repairs. A uh, few to the motherboard. And another one was I had to replace the floppy drive because this one has decided to start just destroying disks and it doesn't read. So I have decided to put another one just like it right there. I have swapped the faceplate so it matches the case. Because this one looks, this faceplate looks much better than this one because this one is a little yellowed. Another thing I have decided to do is reinstall Windows 95. So what I have done is I have factory wiped the hard drive. So basically this hard drive isn't even partitioned anymore. It needs to be partitioned, formatted, and have Windows 95 reinstalled. However, I have a problem. My Windows 95 boot disks don't work. They are completely dead because of going into a bad drive. So what I've done is I have a Windows 98 boot disk that has format on it. And I'm going to use this to install Windows 95. I've also burned to a CD a fresh copy of Windows 95 because my other CD, the cover, developed a chip which made it unreadable. Put it there. So, first things first, I'm going to put the floppy disk in the drive and start the computer. While it's starting, I'm also going to put in the CD. You can hear the drive doing its thing. So I'm going to start the computer with CD-ROM support. The thing with Windows 95 install, uh, with installing Windows 95, is that it does not boot directly from CD-ROM. As a result, I have to, you need a boot disk. Unfortunately, this does take a bit. But once, there we go. So now, first thing that I'm going to run is fdisk. And enable large disk support and create a primary DOS partition. near the drive being set up it's laying down the tracks now I'm going to allow for the maximum available SARS Okay, now that the drive has been formatted, I need to restart the computer. This isn't really necessary. You can continue without doing that, but I'm going to anyway. Okay, so the computer has now booted to this. And now I'm going to just say F1 to resume, so it boots from the floppy disk. Okay, the computer is now back at the A prompt. Now I'm going to use the format command to format the C drive. And now it is formatting. 
Now this might take a while, so I will get back to you when it is done. Okay, so we're almost done. After an entire century has passed, the disc is now formatted. Okay, let's enter a label. And that is very much fitting for what is being sold. So now from here, we go to the D prompt, which is your CD-ROM drive. And from here, I just type setup to initialize the setup program, which will then install Windows 95. This does go pretty quick because there's nothing on the drive. And from here it copies the setup files. So from now you do want to eject your floppy disk unless you want to accidentally write on it. So from here, it's going to write the files to the hard drive or the temporary files, which we'll use to do the installation. Then I'm going to accept the license agreement. And that sound is the disk drive. Choose a directory. In this case, it's going to create this directory. From here, I'm going to select a custom install because I have plenty of disk space on this computer. So now I just have to enter the product key. This I'm going to do off camera. Sorry about that. Uh, my camera just cut off. So from here, it just needs to... So it's nearly done analyzing the computer. My camera did randomly cut off. Okay, from here I'm going to add additional components like my briefcase, character map, desktop management, desktop wallpapers. The hard drive is quite big for this computer, so I have no problem adding all of this. Go. I do plan on messing around with facts on this computer. And possibly even messing around a bit with MSN, even though it's probably not going to work. So from here, these are all the computer settings. So the display is Cirrus Logic, which is true. There's a Cirrus Logic chip right over here. This computer has onboard video graphics, which are actually quite good on this computer. I have plenty of startup disks, but if you do want a startup disk, you can just select, yes, I want a startup disk. 
And from now, it just copies the files to the computer. Why do you need a floppy disk? You do not need a floppy disk. Is it like a pacifier? But literally, then I could just take it out. Like, you can even throw in any random disk and it will be happy. Okay, so after not such a long wait, installation is nearly done. One nice thing about installing Windows 95 from a CD, it's a lot less farting. I know from when I installed Windows 3.1, I kept having disk 3 go bad, which just made everything a pain in the butt. Okay, so from here, it's going to restart the computer. Okay, it just wants me to run a virus scan. I might just disable that. Okay, now I just have to enter password for networking. In this case, I am not going to add that. Okay, in this case, it really wants a password. I'm just going to leave this blank. And then from here, it's got to set up the plug and play devices. Case the CD ROM is inserted. Sometimes Okay, I'm just gonna fart with this quick. Okay, after a few technical issues. I have uh, managed to get it to here. In this case, I've got to just enter my location. Okay, I've entered uh, that bit of information. Okay, I'm going to just quickly fill this out because I've got to put my phone number. Okay, so I've sorted that out. I'm not going to install the printer now. Just like that.
Just like that, setup is finished. Now I do have to set up the sound drivers and everything, but I shall do that all off camera. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and keep it old school.